So this is the gas cell for the infrared spectrophotometer. You can see here we have two valves to let the gas in and out. And we have two windows, each end of the tube, which are made of sodium chloride. You can see they're highly polished, that looks like glass, transparent like glass. Uh, but any water or moisture will destroy them, so we need to check them keep that separate from the water. We need to generate our hydrochloric acid in this three neck round bottom and purge it with nitrogen. So we'll connect a tube from a nitrogen cylinder to the flask. We use some grease for the ground glass joints. And do the same for the gas to exit the glass. Hook this up to tube that we need to change the diameter to a smaller tube to go into the IR cell. So when we work with glass, we need to soften this plastic tubing before we put it on the glass so it doesn't break. So we use that as a heat gun. solution. Again, this is aqueous, so we want to make sure it's clear away from our IR cell. We'll take this exit tube into here. Grease this up here. Catch that up there. Okay, so now with all these valves open, turn on the nitrogen gas, it should flow through here and bubble through our indicator solution. And we're ready to start the reaction and generate the hydrochloric acid. For one mil of flannel chloride at the bottom of the flask, and now we're going to add one mil of water to that, dropwise. That's starting to bubble carrying hydrochloric acid gas. Then it goes into the cell and into the indicator solution. So when that solution turns red, then we know we've completely filled the cell with hydrochloric acid.